Hello everyone, let us talk about the geometrical interpretation of first order partial differential equation. Here we are taking a special case of quasi-linear equation. So, quasi-linear equation means what? It is a first order partial differential equation, equation number 1, a u x plus u b u y equal to c. u x means what? It is del u over del x and u y means del u over del y and u is the function of x and y. When we are talking about quasi-linear equation, that means this equation is linear in u x u y and a b c are the function of x y u like that. So, equation number 2, it is a quasi-linear equation. So, let, let us discuss about the geometrical interpretation. So, the possible solution of this type of PD is what? u equal to u x y. Okay. The so, uh, the solution of this PD is what? u equal to u x y. This is the form. And what would be the implicit form? Implicit form means what? We, uh, we can write u x y minus u equal to 0. So, this is the possible solution of the above PD. Understand? Solution of the PD 2. Okay. So, in an implicit form, we can write like that. So, this is the implicit form of the solution. Okay. Then, uh, what we can do? We, we can call this integral surface also. This, this is also called integral surface. Integral surface. That is the solu solution of the PD. Okay. So, integral surface. Suppose there is a point x, y, u in, let, let us talk about, this is x axis, y axis and u axis. And let us suppose there is some point, maybe p, and the coordinate of this point is what? x, y, u. Okay, then in, at this point, at this point, the gradient vector. If we are talking about gradient vector, f is what? x, y, u. Okay. So, del f will be what? Del f is the what? That is the gradient. Gradient. And it can be written as, del f can be written as u, x, i. We can compute del f from here plus u, y, j minus k. So, okay. Or we can write it as u, x u y and minus 1. So, del f is what? That is normal, delta f is normal to the surface. So, they, it is some surface, maybe this is, this is some surface and delta f is what? That is normal to the surface f. f we have, f x y we have, you have taken as integral surface. So, u x, u y and minus 1. These are the, uh, this is representing the normal to the surface f. Okay, or we can also call it gradient vector. So, it is normal to the surface. Okay, normal to the surface. Then, we can write this PD. We can write this PD in the form like, we can write this PD A ux plus B ui equal to C. In this form A, B, C, dot u x u y minus 1 equal to 0. We can write it in, in this in, in this way. Suppose equation number, this is the equation number 1, equation number 2 that we are writing in this way. So, a, b, c is what? The dot product, suppose this is what u and this is your b. So, u dot b is equal to 0. What does it implies? That u and b are perpendicular to each other, are perpendicular to each other. That means, that means u x, u y minus y 1 is along the normal. That means, a, b, c are lying, a, b, c are lying along the, are lying along the tangent plane. Okay along the tangent plane. 
okay so abc are lying along the tangent plane and ux uy minus 1 they are perpendicular to the surface okay solution surface then abc then abc it determine it it determines a direction field direction field called characteristic direction characteristic direction or also called it is monge's axis monge's axis okay so if we are talking about this so this is what this is along the tangent line or along the tangent plane so a b c are the uh, a b c are the direction ratio along the line tangent line okay then it is also called characteristic direction this direction is called characteristic direction and also called monge's axis and this is very very important whenever we are talking about solution of the first order pd if we uh, suppose let us let us summarize it in this case we have taken um, fx y z here we have taken fx y z x y u equal to u x y minus u equal to 0 it is what it is the solution surface solution surface it is a solution surface solution surface on the solution surface in the space which space we are taking here x y u space okay so it is a solution surface x it is a solution surface in the space x y u if and only if if and only if the direction vector the direction vector field vector field a b c lies in the tangent plane tangent plane of the integral surface okay integral surface surface with surface f x y u equal to 0 at each point x y u is what that is arbitrary point so it may vary and where we are taking del f is not equal to 0 so just keep in mind that this is what this is your solution surface that is lying in in, in the space x y u so it is a solution surface if and only if this is the important condition the direction vector a b c lies in the tangent plane of the integral surface so i think it is clear so this is some surface this is some surface maybe we are we can write it something in this way so this is some surface maybe and at some point it is a general point p or at which ux uy minus 1 is normal to the surface at the point p then abc is lying along the tangent plane abc is lying along the tangent plane and it is also determine the characteristic direction okay so so this is fx y u it is the solution surface of the surface if ux uy minus 1 lying along the normal and abc lying along the tangent plane okay now let us find out characteristic curve we have discussed about the characteristic direction now a curve a curve a curve in x y u space so this space is formed by different different curves so this particular curve we are talking about a particular curve x that is lying in the space whose tangent whose tangent at every point at every point coincide 
coincides with the characteristic characteristic direction field abc direction field a b c is called is called characteristic ka. characteristic ka. understand so a curve in xy space let us discuss about it suppose uh, or make we make a different picture then it will be more clear so this is suppose x axis y axis u axis and this is some surface maybe something like that so here is some point p and on which we are having normal that is ux uy minus 1 and uh, it is along the and uh, tangent abc are lying along the tangent plane then there is some curve maybe something like that there is some curve and on which the tangent line we are denoting tangent line by this one black color so tangent line on the curve and uh, tangent line abc they are coincide each other then we'll say this particular curve is what characteristic curve. so a curve in xy space whose tangent whose tangent at every point coincides with characteristic direction that is computed by abc okay so the tangent on the curve is coincide with the characteristic direction abc is called characteristic curve so by using this definition we will compute or we will find uh, the equation of the characteristic curve and also the method of characteristic can be generated by this particular uh, concept okay so let us suppose equation of the curve let us suppose equation of the characteristic curve equation of the characteristic curve is x equal to x t y equal to y t so any curve can be represented by uh, some parametric form x equal to x t y equal to y t and u equal to u t here we are taking u okay u equal to u t then the tangent vector u equal to u t then the tangent vector to this curve will be what dx by dt dy by dt and du by dt so this is this must be equal to this must be equal to to a b c as per definition therefore 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 we can the system of od the system of od od of the characteristic curves is given by curve is given by dx by dt equal to a dy dt equal to b and du by dt equal to c so this is called so this is called characteristic equation of quasi quasi linear equation so characteristic equation of quasi linear equation okay so in this case if we see there are only two independent od these are the two independent od because x and y are independent variable they are only two independent od okay so 
therefore its solution therefore its solution consists of a consist of a two for parameter family two parameter family of curve in x y u space okay x y u space equivalently the characteristic equation so i think it is clear uh, when there are two independent equations so it must have two parameter family of curve in the x y squares okay now the characteristic equation characteristic equation characteristic equation in non parametric form non parametric form hai na t jo hai aapka parameter hai yahan par so dx upon a dy upon b and du upon c this is also called lagrange method and it is called method of characteristic method of characteristic method of characteristic so lagrange method understand any doubt up to here so here we have discussed about the quasi linear equation quasi linear equation solution and how to compute characteristic equation for the quasi linear equation okay if we are talking about like uh, uh, if we are ta talking about these two equation like uh, suppose dy dx dy dx can be computed as b upon a so characteristic can be determined by this also dy uh, or characteristic curve can be compute by the relationship dy dx since b is the function of x y u and a is also the function of u and dy dx is denoting what that is the slope that is the slope of the curve okay if a and if there is a equation if if equation is semi linear or the equation is linear in this case if the pd is if the pd is semi linear and the pd is semi linear or linear in that case we are getting dy dx as b upon a and b and a are the function of x and y okay so in this case we are get a plane curve with a slope dy dx equal to b upon a so this is the geometrical interpretation of quasi linear equation question we will do in the next